Hey, it's been a while. Had fun at the Comic-Con, met up with various celebrities like Stan Lee and William Shatner, but my plans for this recap were put on hold when Satoru Iwata passed away. Anyway, it's time to dream up a nightmare! <laughs>
Holy cow. That was amazingly epic, especially in the third act. I know, the episode was supposed to be focused on Princess Luna and the quest to stop the cannabis, but the animators went completely nuts giving us various visual scenes of awesomeness. Flutterbats, the return of two of the power ponies, Night Spike, Giant Derpy, Giant Wing Scootaloo, and especially Princess Big Macintosh. It was definitely a soupy soup of awesome soupiness. It doesn't hurt that they threw in a bit of satire as well. Case in point. I bet Rainbow Dash loves those flowers right about now. The climax of the episode was indeed heartwarming and it reminds Princess Luna not to punish herself for her own misdeeds as Nightmare Moon, but everything else about it is pure awesome. See it again, for it is everything that should be awesome about My Little Pony. don't seem concerned for Daimondo! Why not? He can handle himself just fine. Seriously? He's your close friend, and you're doing nothing?! You're one to talk since you battled that blue hedgehog Sonic! I have no quarrel with Daimondo, unlike that blue chili dog eating fool who reminds me of Justin Bieber! Well, no wonder you've been failing as a villain lately. What? Oh, you take that back, you gun-toting emo wannabe! Oh, cry me a river, Doctor. What are you gonna do about it? Drop a cow on me? <laughs> hey, Eggy, you do realize I would have turned Shadow into a Generation 3 and a half pony rather than drop a cow on him. Besides, these cows fall out of the sky for no reason. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Ugh, that's utterly despicable. Did you really think you've seen the last of Greyman?